Welcome to Christiana Flourishing, where we motivate you with God word. I welcome you the body of Christ to this video. Bishop Noah is encouraging and inspiring prophets, lovey and prophet Pasha. And he explained to them to live a better life. And prophet lovey is explaining on this video his difficulties of being a prophet and doing the things of God. Just take your time to watch this video to the end. Subscribe to this channel. Check out our playlist. Please, the video. We'll see you're going to identify video. with what it is that you have been doing. And you that's going to be your identity. When I, For instance, we've got uh, uh, Lovi, we've got uh, Java, and, uh, well, Passion, and you've got me. And even though we are different, we all have our own identity. The problem is going to arise, and I, I want Lovi to, to talk about this because uh, just today a, a member of mine is saying that she is now going to your assembly. How, how many years has she been here? Mm -hmm. How many oh, years? She's been here for 23 years. And, and she's, a, she she's a great member. Morning and she's at Lowe's. Yes, but now she, she wants to go to Lowe's. I, I don't have a problem with it because whatever it is that she has gained from me in 23 years, she's looking for something that I don't do. You follow? And I don't have a problem with that because I don't believe that any one ministry can perfect an individual. I don't believe that. Because uh, uh, after, of course, he led captivity captive, he gave some apostles and then he gave some prophets. He evangelists and then pastors and teachers. He, everybody calls it the fivefold ministry, but it's actually fourfold because pastors and teachers are under the Granville Sharp law in the Greek, which makes them one. So it's really fourfold, but then that's technical, that's biblicist kind of thing. But the thing that I noted with uh, the prophet when I went to Houston was, and I went on a fact finding, I went to be informed. I went, I was studying. And what I've discovered, because is that what he is doing in his presentation and in his ministry is he does what I do and then he does the prophetic aspect of it, which gives a sort of double portion. And uh, I asked Jessica earlier, did she know Shambhak? And she had no clue who Shambhak was. And it's the same way that uh, I asked some young people, do you know Grace Shin? Now, all of a sudden, I am known in circles where I wouldn't have been known and exposed again, so my shelf life is great. Now, what I want to ask Lovi is, because what I have here is I'm biblicist completely. You're prophetic for the most part. Lovi is biblicist and prophetic. So I want to ask Lovi, how do you balance the two and which is more significant to you? Well, first I want to say thank you to uh, my dad being here and thank you for all. Um, th I thank the Lord for you, Grandpa, too, because without the two of you, I wouldn't be here. And I want to thank Jessica for being here. What you spoke in the beginning really touched me. It was really powerful. Well, I look at it this way. The first thing is that you have, you see, when people are trying to be relevant, I think they have already lost the point. Because uh, when God called Jesus, Jesus wasn't trying to be relevant. Our Lord was simply expressing what his father gave him to express. In your generation, Bishop, you are not trying to be anybody. You are perfecting what God gave you. Of course, we get inspired. But initially, our identity is an expression of God. Because we are all unique. We are all different. So, I find that many don't understand that the expression of God in you is also the same way that your vision of God also comes. We all perceive God differently. There's no one way people perceive God. I teach the way I teach because of how I have seen God. I didn't come from a religious people. I came from a musician background. But my calling, you know, to God in 1992 when I was still like six, is what permits me to see God the way I see God. Now, 
when we are trying to be relevant, we are already missing the point. That means that we are trying to go into sheep that we were not sent to. But at the same time, uh, you're talking about relevance and there's a time that it will shift. The point is that many shepherds don't understand that there is a time they have to pass the staff or the baton to the next generation. And their problem begins that they are trying to fight to remain in what they should have left and mentored from a distance or up close. So there are things that the new, like an example, I spend a lot of time with you, Bishop. I spend time with my father. And what my father has done and what you have done is you have made me avoid the pitfalls that are common to all men. I believe when the Bible says that um, there is nothing new, it is not talking about, like we didn't have cars 50 years ago. Right, right, right. Or maybe 50 years we did, but we didn't have jets and all a uh, 100 years ago. There's a lot of technology we have that is not, that was not there. But the expression of life is still the same. That's right. The expression of life hasn't changed. We still eat, we still sleep, we want to dress, we still have the same worries. But my point being is that the relevance part is what is destroying the church because once a person loses the vision of God, which is, it is about salvation of souls. It's always about people coming to Christ. That's really it. And if I understand that that is what it's about, then I take myself out of the picture. Then I become more concerned about what God is concerned about. You don't mind a 20-something year member going to your grandson because your great desire is the perfection of a man's soul. Now, out of all creatures that God ever created, the human being is the least prepared for life. That's right. That's least. Right. Because the soul of a man has to develop. Most animals are born with instincts. Human beings are not born with instincts. A baby has no instincts. They have to develop. Mm. So if you understand that it's about the development of the soul and for a man to grow in wisdom in order to attain salvation, then you'll be more interested about people seeing Christ than people filling your chairs. Yes, I always say this in my church. The church should be a place that we have a high turnover rate because we are sending people out, making disciples of others. It shouldn't be a place where we just have people sitting. Then it becomes a, a, a cemetery or a, a, or a museum. It should never be like that. So in, in, in making it short and, and you know being trying to summarize this, my, my point is this, is that as time goes, our roles change in the kingdom of God because that's what an elder or a mature person becomes is that you realize that God will do something new. These are patterns that have never changed. John the Baptist was young, was in maybe a year or two older. I get attacked all the time. They call me all manner of things, but according to their season and according to their times. So I feel that um, what is hindering a lot of men is that the men of God especially, whether they're apostles, bishops, I get attacked all the time. They call me all manner of things, but I am not offended with that because even the Lord, they thought the same. When it was um, Samson, when he came from Timna, his mother and father, he told his mother and father, wife this young girl for me because she pleases me well. And they said, how dare you not pick somebody from your own people and you go and find an uncircumcised Philistine. Yeah then everybody in the church still labels Samson as, as a man with lust. But if you read the next verse, it yes. says, it was his father and mother knew not. That it, was of the Lord. it was of the Lord's doing that he sought an occasion against the Philistines. Right. So the whole church has always demonized him, but what he was doing was the leading of God. It was God looking, an occasion, looking for an occasion to destroy them. So the issue becomes... People don't understand the move of God, even though his father and mother met the angel of the Lord. That's right. They did not know the workings of the Spirit of God for his generation. That's right. Um, that's and for the purpose that God has.